Hi, I'm Wesley Ferreira, clarinet professor at Colorado State University. And today I'm going to discuss how to prepare this year's Colorado All-State Band and Orchestra Bass Clarinet Audition. In this video, our focus will be the Weisenborn Advanced Studies Etude Number 20, adapted for bass clarinet by William Rhodes. The etude is marked lento, with an added indication that the performer should play a piacere. A piacere is an Italian term, meaning that you can play the etude at your pleasure, specifically as it relates to tempo and the use of rubato. Now, this year's All-State Audition asks that you perform at quarter note equals 52. This is a good tempo. But as you will see and hear from my upcoming performance demonstration, I will not be playing the etude metronomically. As with all auditions, focus on playing with good tone and pay attention to the details all along the way in your preparation process. This is a rather short etude, but it contains a lot of detail. Let's delve right in. The first three measures each have a different dynamic indication. Make sure that we can hear the difference in all three when you play them. The first five measures are pretty straightforward, but I would suggest using rubato in measures three to five. Rubato means the temporary disregarding of strict tempo to allow an expressive quickening or slackening, usually without altering the overall pace. What this means is that I will be moving a little bit more quickly at the end of measure three to show momentum moving forward, and then slowing down at the end of measure four to broaden the line. By doing this, I am not losing or adding time. In measure five, we have a pseudo cadenza here. You can take time and get a nice big breath on the quarter rest on beat two of that measure. Be sure to play the low A with unwavering tone and pitch. The judges will really get to hear the quality of your tone on this note, especially as you start on a 14 dynamic and diminuendo to a piano dynamic. Be sure to practice the subsequent 16th note passage well with even fingers, correct notes, and good tone. In measure seven, there is a marking of crescendo e stringendo. Stringendo means to gradually play faster. You've likely seen this idea most often written as the term accelerando. So, through measures seven and eight, you are asked to gradually increase dynamics and tempi until measure nine, at which point, there is a rallentando and diminuendo indication written in. Be sure that you take in enough air before the 16th note passage begins in order to have enough breath support to play the final two notes of this etude beautifully. I suggest recording yourself and listening back often so that you can analyze your own playing and your interpretation. Some of the best players in the world use this technique. It's been a pleasure sharing my thoughts on this etude. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments section below or contact me via email. Also, please feel free to email sound or video files if you'd like me to review them and offer suggestions. I hope to see many of you at the All-State Band and Orchestra Weekend this year and even at the various honor bands in our state that use the same etude. Good luck with your auditions.